Let's take a look at this example. This time we're supposed to determine the output waveforms for the end gate, to input end gate. And again, we are going to determine the output waveform when the switch is open and when the switch is closed. I'm going to keep always the same input waveform. So, again, if you want to find the output waveforms are supposed to always draw the dashed line at every single change of the input waveform. I mean, anytime you are going to notice transition from 0 to 1 or 1 to 0, you're supposed to draw the dashed line. Okay. Now, you're supposed to realize that if switch is open, okay, this is my resistor, my pull-up resistor, okay, my first input is connected by pull-up resistor to VCC, okay, so current is going directly to the gate, okay, so when the current is going to the gate directly, we have logic 1 at this input. Okay, now I have logic one when switch is open. Next, I supposed to check what I have at the second input. Okay, so at the second input, I'm going to have input signal. Okay, this is my input signal or input waveform. So I have high and I have this low. According to the truth table for the end gate, when we have high and low at the input of the gate, output is zero. So I have one, zero gives me zero. Remember that end gate represents the multiplication. So I have one times this zero gives me zero. Next, the input is receiving 1. So for this, for this time, I'm going to have 1 at the input. So 1 times 1 gives me 1. That's why I'm going to have logic 1 at this time. Next, 0 is coming to this input. Okay, Because I always look at the input waveform. So I have 0 at this time. I have 0 and 1. 0 times 1 gives me 0. Next, 1 is coming to the second input. Okay, so I have 1 and 1 is 1 at the output because 1 and 1 gives me 1. Next, I have 0 at the input and I have always 1 at the first input, so I have 0, and 1 gives me 0. Next, I have 1 at this input, okay, and 1 at the first input, so 1 and 1 gives me 1. And if I have 0, because this 0 is coming to the input, and 1 at the, this input, I have 0 at the output, because 0 times 1 gives me 0. Now I can draw the output waveform. Okay, so now you can see that any time switch is open for this circuit, at the output you are going to get the waveform which is identical to the input waveform. Okay, so Please notice that if switch is open, you are going to simply pass the input signal to the output. Let's take a look what will happen if you are going to close switch S1. If you are going to close switch S1, the current is not going to bother to go into the gate because of course, gate has some resistance, 
And Karen is a very lazy guy and is always looking for the easiest way to reach ground. So Karen is not going to bother going to the gate, is going to go to the ground. That's why we are going to have over here logic zero. Okay? Why? Because you simply short this input to ground and ground has the potential zero volts. That's why I have logic zero at this input. Now, next, to make long story short, you're supposed to remember the truth table of the end gate. Please notice that any time, right, we have zero at the input of end gate. Output is always zero. So if one of the inputs of end gate is receiving zero, output is automatically zero, no matter what happened at the second input. Okay, one more time, look. Anytime we have zero at the input, output is automatically zero. So don't think too long. Simply draw straight line, right? Which represent zero at the output. And these are the solutions to my problem.